Pairing with the light holes When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Today I have my winter dining room makeover. If you saw last week's video, I did the lounge room and then I've also done a bedroom makeover as well. I'll link those videos for you here. I don't know about you guys, but I've been loving the new Kardashians and I've been looking at all their homes and trying to get ideas so I can recreate them on a budget for all of us. <laughs> on the very first one, I believe it is, Kim, Kim has a party at her house and down the center of the table she had all these beautiful ferns it's so gorgeous if i can get a photo of it i'll pop it here and that's basically what i wanted to recreate in my home i'll link a couple of my dining room makeovers here for you this haul covers the items i used for this video i'll link it here look at my wonderful husband repotting plants for me into my little pots so we're going to put this little one in the grey pot and then we've got the maiden hair fern in the little white one. Teddy, you're not going in the rain, are you? Yes. Poor Daddy's in the rain. What a legend. They look great. We're going to leave them in the rain and clean them up. Um, I love fresh flowers and I do normally always have fresh flowers. Just trying to be a bit more budget friendly and then when I saw that idea on the Kardashians I thought well I'm gonna do it in my home. Why not recreate it? <laughs> and I don't have to worry about buying new flowers all the time. So um, this is what I've done. <laughs> the setting with my uh, little dupe place mat from Pillow Talk and these gorgeous gold cutlery set is from Aldi but there is this exact same one at Target as well which I'll link for you down below. Uh, these gorgeous wine glasses are from Maxwell Williams. I just wanted to add the rustic vibes with these cute little vintage, these cute little vintage cups from Kmart. Just, so these are for the wine and these are your water glasses. Then I brought in these beautiful charger plates which I did get from Kmart. Don't think they're available anymore but I'll link something similar for you down below. Then this is the gold rim plate uh, from Target which I love. I love the detail on that one. Then I've got this beautiful hand um, handmade looking plate from Kmart. I love those. I love the rustic vibes of that. This is the matching bowl that comes with it. These are available at Kmart now. And then both, both the beige napkin and also the napkin ring are both from Target. They're nice. Now you could, if you wanted to, 
easily make it a little bit more glamorous if you like and add in a white napkin with a gold napkin ring. That's my favourite one, the pretty flower one. This is absolutely stunning. I'll link these down below just because they are divine. Or you could even, if you wanted to, change it completely up again. These little gold thread napkins are from Kmart. This little rattan napkin ring is from Target and they're available at the moment. And there we are. Okay, so I've got this gorgeous jug, which is from Kmart. I love this. It's really quite light and easy to use. Um, I've just put some lemon in there and some ice, which makes it lovely for the water jugs. For the children, I've used these rustic, um, I've used these beautiful rustic sort of jar, mason jar, is that what they're called? Mason jar glasses. They're from Kmart. They're only super cheap. They come with a lid actually and a straw. Um, but I thought that I just love the rustic vibes. That's why I did the water glasses over there as well. And then over here is my little centerpiece, which is the King K inspiration. But I went to Kmart and I got this beautiful um, tray, which I also have one in my bedroom as well um, as a stable table. But I got another one and these come in a box at Kmart. They're $21 and I highly recommend because it's very easy to take the pots off and then you can put, you know, like a cheese platter or a pizza or whatever in the middle. The beautiful candelabras here are from Big W and then the pots are all from Kmart. So I've got this beautiful white, um, I didn't actually show you this white one in the, in the hall because I had a maiden hair fern in it and we were trying to, it was in plant hospital basically, but it didn't survive unfortunately. So we've changed it up for this beautiful plant here, which was just naturally growing in our garden. So this little pot here was, um, was $3. Then I've got the brass beaten pot here, which I just love that it brings in the warmth of the gold with my beautiful maiden hair fern. This is the olive pot from Kmart, which I think was $3 as well. And I've put in a little fern from our garden as well. If you didn't have a herb garden, another great idea would be instead of having ferns, you could have herbs. So you could have, you know, um, some basil, coriander and thyme or rosemary and mint or whatever, whatever sort of herbs that you use in your cooking or basil, um, you could have those in the pots instead. And I've seen that also in a kitchen, which looks incredible as well, which I might do in another, you know, video down the track. Um, I actually have a very big vegetable garden, which is just outside my window here and I have all the herbs and everything out there so it's not something that I need in my life um, but it is a good idea if you've got a if you don't have a veggie garden or a herb garden that you could actually do it in pots and have it as on display um, but I just think it looks so pretty I love that I don't have to have the fresh cut flowers and I just love this look and a big thank you to Kim Kardashian for giving me the idea <laughs> and uh, I just love it I hope that you really like it I think it it really has a beautiful vibe for winter. I hope that you guys enjoy it. It would be great all year round. I think it would look lovely in summer as well. What do you think, darling? I like it. I like it all the nature yeah. and that's in the piece. That's right. I am a bit obsessed with nature at the moment. And I just think it's beautiful and I hope that you really like it as well. It's just another different idea. I'll link a few of my table decorating videos down below for you. And I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. So I hope you like my dress as well. This is from two videos ago, my latest haul when we went, I had Forever New and H&M and all different items, but this is one of the dresses that I showed you there. And I, I just love it. It's so nice. I love um, how it's not too low, but you can make it lower if you like. <laughs> um, but yes, I just love it. And I've dressed it up with my little belt. So I wanted to show you that, but I do also have my Sexist slippers on. Slay. <laughs> and these were from Kmart. <laughs> Mother is slaying right now with the slippers. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like, yeah, party up the top and comfort down the bottom. <laughs> So join me on a quick home tour. First, let's start outside. Here's our pool area. It's not as functioning as it normally is in summer if you've watched my summer videos, but that's how it looks in winter. And this is our pergola. We dine up here outside. It's a great little outdoor area. Our garden up here has grown so much. Uh, it looks like a tropical rainforest like jungle up here anyway. <laughs> And finally, my bougainvillea is growing. 
But yeah, it looks so nice. You happy, honey? Yeah. Daddy, Daddy, come here. <laughs> come here. Are you doing gardening with Daddy? Are you doing gardening with Daddy? He's like, how do I, how, how do I get back in the house on the lounge, please? <laughs> Giddy, my husband's doing all the gardening of our veggie patch here. It was all grown over. Time to give it some love, but we've still got lots of herbs. We've got some rosemary, there's some basil, parsley, we've got a big bait, big sage bush there. We've got a lemon bush here, but it does it produces lemons, but we don't know. They stay green, don't they? Are you saying help mommy? I want to come back inside now. I'm an inside dog. <laughs> Are you gardening puppy? Poor little bears. Poor little bears, you got muddy paws? Have you? Oh dear me, look at him. How do I get down? <laughs> Got one over there at the back. Two up. Oh no! Two up there. And one up there. And this little one. This one. This one. The other day. I'm sure it's this one because it's not scared at all. <laughs> flew into our back door. Flew into the lounge room and then tried to fly out our kitchen windows here. Didn't you? So, you're never going to believe what happened. My favourite little kookaburra just flew through the house. I'll put some footage here. up flying into this room that smash that you heard was my glass which is such a shame because I can't get these particular ones from Target anymore um, it's now broken and then he's so silly he, he kept going to the window but just even though I had this door open he just couldn't understand anyway he pooped there I'm gonna clean that up but my poor little baby what happened Anyway, he tried, I was cooking chicken and I was cutting it up and he jumped through the window and took off with my chicken and then started flying around the house like a crazy bird. So it was just chaos at my place. <laughs> it is very confident, aren't you darling? You're so pretty. Can you show everyone your pretty blue wings? Hey? I know. My little best friend. <laughs> My favourite is when they hop around, but it's so cute. <laughs> you got so much to say today. Oh, 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 oh. One of those two. He's still here. What do you think? He's not pleased. It's like a baby raptor sitting on my windowsill. Ready? Oh. One up there. <laughs> What's the matter? You've been, you've been sitting out there in the rain today. It has not stopped raining again, hasn't it? You've been sitting in the rain. little best friend. What's the matter? There's so much to say to everybody. I know. <laughs> you be a good boy. You be a good boy. You be a good boy. Uh, uh, don't you bite me. You be a good boy. That's it. You be a good boy. <laughs> that 
my, my dirty windows. Ooh, oh, ew! Oh, what was that bloody crow? <laughs> oh, it was too. Oh. This here is a little bucket that we've just had in the backyard with all this rain. And look, we've got tadpoles in there. There's a tiny baby frog. Look how cute it is. Can you see it there? Oh. There's lots of tadpoles in here, so I think we're going to have more little baby frogs. <laughs> but that's so cute. He's been a very barky, cranky boy, haven't you, Teddy? And he's all covered in mud and he's not the best one now. He ran outside into the wet grass and then he's at, like he's so muddy and I don't want him going all over our nice stuff. We're going to have to give him a bath time. But look how cute he is, though. Teddy! Poor Teddy. <laughs> he's putting on the teary eyes. It's Please. a thing he does. Please don't mind my dirty windows. It's been raining so much that every time I wash them, the mud just gets back onto it because it rains every day. <laughs> so I haven't bothered cleaning them again, but you say I'm bye. sure you understand. You say bye, guys. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> so this is... <laughs> This is the outcome of running running out like a crazy puppy dog. Look at him. Now look at you. <laughs> Was fluffy, now not. Oh, now you look like a drowned rat. At least you don't stink now. You're not a stinky boy. Please check out the winter laundry makeover. I'm so happy with how this has ended up turning out. It just looks so rustic and warm and inviting and it still has the beach vibe elements, but I really love how natural and just gorgeous it is. You really feel very comforting when you walk into the home. I hope it picks up on camera for you, but it's just gorgeous. If you'd like to see all the details, I've covered everything in the video, so I'll link that for you here. I tell you where all the items are from and how much and where you can get them as well. Also some styling tips and some feng shui tips as well. If you're a Kmart seasoned shopper, then you would probably recognize a lot of the items here. Most of them are from Kmart. And the winter bedroom makeover video as well, plus all the hauls and all the come shop with me's. I've got so many videos lately that are all uh, related to this. So I'd love you to check them all out. And I really would love to hear from you. But yes, it feels very romantic in here and super cozy for winter. Oh, look at him. He looks so comfortable, is it nice? He says, I'm never allowed on mummy's bed. <laughs> Are you? Oh, it's nice and cozy now. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I just thank you so much for spending your precious time with me today. I would love you to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps my channel grow and helps keep me motivated in making these videos for you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me in the comments. I wanna hear all about your thoughts, what you think, if you liked it, um, any other ideas that you have. Um, but thank you so much guys for watching. Bye, see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys. Thank you so much. This is my gorgeous daughter that does all the filming. She doesn't always <laughs> like to go on camera, but the poor thing's had the flu. She's definitely a lot better though, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Sorry yeah. if my voice is still here. I'm just at the end of it. She's, yeah, we thought, oh my God, we've got COVID again. We were panicking, weren't we? But yeah. thankfully, thank you. Thank you, thank you. She, it's not, it's just the flu. We've tested every day, she's fine. It's been like a week now. Um, it was last Saturday and it's now Friday, so. It's yeah. very annoying, but yeah. I'm almost there. I'm so close. Thank you so much for helping me though. She's She still managed to put the work in and help a mummy out. So we all appreciate it. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. I love you. Thank love you, you too. <laughs> 
please follow me over on Instagram as well. The name is the same as my YouTube channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. I do lots of reels and lots of posts covering everything that I do here on YouTube, plus with links. So if you want to do go shopping, you can create a save file and save any of the posts that I make. And that way, when you go shopping, you'll have an easy access of anything that you want to buy. I cover fashion, beauty, food, all sorts of things, fitness, the works. <laughs> I'd really love you to follow me over there. Welcome to my channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Hi, little rat. Oh, that's so dirty. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so tiny in the grass. Look at you. I love it. Stupid. This is from the. This is from the latest haul. This is from two my little birds that come and visit us. Oh, there's the coffee machine again. <laughs> Mum's now like a big plant mum right now. She's lots of plants <laughs> with the birds. They. That's it. She's a nature mother now. That's right, mother nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love it. I love how it looks. And and then I wanted to add the rustic vibe. <laughs> the bedroom makeover went up. Um, and the bedroom. Is in here? Oh, wait. <laughs> um, please check out the lounge room makeover. Please check out the winter. Please check out the winter. <laughs> the winter lounge room makeover. <laughs> Join our family, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family. family, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.